anticoagulants, enoxaparin, known under brand names like Clexane and Lovenox. Mechanism of action. Enoxaparin is a type of low molecular weight heparin with a mean molecular weight of 4000 to 5000. It has an immediate one set of action when given in intravenous form. It binds to and potentiates antithrombin 3, a serine protein, protease inhibitor. To form a complex that irreversibly inactivates factor 10A, it goes around this factor 10A, and drug is known as inhibitor of factor 10A. Enoxaparin has less activity against factor 2A, or known as thrombin, compared to unfractionated heparin. Enoxaparin has an advantage over heparin because of its bioavailability. 90% of the drug is available when given in subcutaneous form. Enoxaparin can also be administered in intravenous formulations. The intravenous formulation should, be, should not be mixed or co-administered with other medications. The port that you will use should be flushed before you use with normal saline or 5% percent dextrose water. An intravenous injection is usually given during the time of primary PCI and at the time of STEMI or ST elevation myocardial infarction. Subcutaneous administration should alternate between the left or right anterolateral and left or right posterolateral abdominal wall. There is no topical form available and intravenous administration is generally avoided. So, one milligram of enoxaparin is equal to 100 units of anti-10A factor activity. The usual dose is one milligram per kilogram every 12 hours. However, dosing can be variable depending on the clinical situation. For example, in acute coronary syndrome, 1 mg per kilogram every 12 hours is indicated if the patient is less than 75 years old. And patients older than 75 years will uh, receive 0.75 mg per kilogram every 12 hours. For example, if a patient has 70 kilograms and you are administering the dose of one milligram of enoxaparin. So you administer uh, 70 milligrams, which is equal with 7,000 of, 7, of, thousands of uh, units of anti, uh, 10 A act, uh, factor activity. What are the indications for enoxaparin? Enoxaparin is a low molecular weight heparin and was first approved for medical use in 1993 and is derived from heparin, of course. It has approval for the following clinical conditions like acute coronary syndrome, ST or non-ST elevations, myocardial infer infarction and stable angina, deep venous thrombosis, prophylaxis and treatment, pulmonary embolism, venous thromboembolism secondary to uh, malignancy as a cause, prosthetic valve thrombosis in pregnancy, as in pregnancy you cannot administer, administer heparin, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, arterial thromboembolism prophylaxis, cerebral thromboembolism, known uh, for certain that there is embolism and no uh, hemorrhage, PCI or percutaneous uh, coronary intervention and periprocedural anticoagulation. Uh, side effects of enoxaparin. The drug has a name, has the same side effect profile as heparin because of the re reduced effectiveness of the antidote protamine. Bleeding complications can be severe and life-threatening. 
following uh, following our a few uh, the few side effects of enoxaparin. Bleeding is the first one and stay staying in front like bleeding most common uh, most common side effect heat or known as uh, heparin induced thrombocytopenia hemorrhagia is the side of injection or pain nose of confusion headache hypoaldosteronism gastrointestinal bleeding erectile stress uh, hematoma sorry here for mistake hematoma liver injury as you know it uh, inactivates factor of coagulation and if liver cannot produce these factors it will become problem later for a patient uh, contraindications uh, contraindications the following uh, are the most common contraindications like urticaria and anaf anaphylactic uh, reactions and known as hypersensitivity to enoxaparin or any type of heparin products. Active major bleeding, history of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia within the past 100 days. Active uh, GI or active gastric or duodenal ulcers. Hemorrhagic cerebrovascular accident. If you detect this by CT, you cannot, cannot give uh, enoxaparin. Severe uncontrolled hypertension, hepatic disease, hemophilia, and thrombocytopenia of less than 50,000 in account. Caution uh, sh should be uh, with patients that uh, has a spinal catheter. Pregnant patients with mechanical valves or uh, mechanical heart valves Elderly patients, patients with weight less than 45 kg and patients with acute endocarditis, acute pericarditis also require que uh, caution when administered administer enoxaparin. So for pregnant patient, elder and uh, with uh, body weight loss or less than 45 kg, if we are talking about adults, of course. Monitoring and toxicity. So, monitoring of bleeding, of thrombocytopenia, renal impairment, surgery, all of them are important. The patient should be monitored closely for signs and symptoms of bleeding. For example, advanced age, uh, female sex, and concomitant use of antiplatelet drugs are the most common factor risk responsible for the bleeding. Bleeding is less common with enoxaparin, so factor 10a monitoring is not necessary. Renal failure and obesity are the most common indication to monitor enoxaparin as it increases the chances of bleeding. So giving uh, enoxaparin for this type of patients should be given very careful as obesity represents the risk of a hemorrhage because of increased vascularity of the adipose tissue. Thrombocytopenia so for this type of patient with renal impairment or renal insufficiency uh, therapeutic, therapeutic dose is usually one milligram per kilogram every 12 hours but also monitor and uh, uh, take uh, in count to check risk factors and any of the symptoms of hemorrhage thrombocytopenia if patient develop heat or heparin induced thrombos thrombocytopenia that can occur, which is less uh, common than conventional heparin. If the patient develops heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, the drug should be discontinued and monitored uh, platelet count for this patient. Renal impairment in oxaparin dose requires adjustment with a creatinine clearance of less than 30 milliliter per minute. If patient is prepared for uh, surgery, a less presurgical dose of enoxaparin should be administered at least 24 hours before surgery. Treatment can be restarted 12 hours after surgery if indicated. As a part of toxicity, subcutaneous injection has a bioavailability of around 100%. In the event of significant bleeding, protamine sulfate can be used to partially, partially reserve, reverse sorry as an anticoagulant 
effects of low molecular weight heparin like enoxaparin. Protamine neutralizes about 60% of the LMWH anticoagulant activity. Uh, for low molecular weight heparins administered within the previous 8 hours, the recommended dose of uh, protamine sulfate is 1 mg, which is equal with 1 mg of enoxaparin or 100 units of antifactor A. So if you gave uh, for patient uh, 70 milligram of enoxapar enoxaparin you should uh, give uh, 70 milligram of protamine or equal with for example in this way 70 milligrams 70 milligrams or if you are calculating in a I international uh, units it will be like this 7,000, you are giving the corresponding 70 mg of protamine sulfate. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video is useful for you. Have a great time, guys.